H, you were with the Liverpool setup from the age of 11 until 20. That's quite a, a chunk of your life. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember my first time at Melwood, uh, working with Joe Corrigan uh, when I was yeah, 10, I think it was, yeah. Um, and yeah, from there I stayed until I was a professional. And we know that football is very transient and things move very quickly. Were there many familiar faces today when you came? Uh, yeah, there, there was actually quite, there is quite a few familiar faces. Um, people I played with and I was coaching here and um, a few on medical staff. Um, so yeah, there's still quite a few people around. Uh, the, the person that looks after the, the academy is still here, Errol. Um, so yeah, there's still quite a few people here from when I was here working as a YTS. No games at the moment, of course, for the New Saints in Welsh football. How important is it to play these type of all beat behind closed doors friendlies? Yeah, they're always important. So I think uh, when you're playing against like uh, the lads we played against today, you know it's in, intense. It's um, something we probably don't get every every week in the Welsh Premier League. It's probably a bit tougher. It's more realistic to a European game sometimes. So it's always good to uh, to get that under your belt and look forward to whenever we we play next. Kwame, you've played against Liverpool previously when you were at Bradford City. Yeah, yeah, I played against them a few times uh, in the academy. I played against the first team. But, um, that was at Melwood, so it's the first time coming to this place. But yeah, it was good. It was a good experience both times. And you played the full game today. How do you feel your own performance went? Uh, I think it went well, um, but I feel like there's lots of things to improve on. Obviously, I haven't played in a, in a while, but I think it went well, yeah. And how important is it to get these competitive games because there's no football at the moment in Wales? Yeah, it's very important because obviously we haven't played uh, in a while, so we need match fitness and as well as that, just getting to know everyone and just obviously get new players coming in, etc. So it's good to see how everyone plays together. And you've been at the club now a number of months. You signed a contract initially, a short term one, but you've just signed an extension to that contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just recently signed an extension. I'm happy to do that and um, just want to get playing again in the in the league. Scott, there are no league games at the moment, of course, in Welsh football. How important is it to be playing friendlies such as the one we've engaged in today? I think it's, I think it's important if it's uh, obviously in a safe environment for us to come and play, uh, which this is, and it's um, it's good to keep the, the last spirits up. And you know, when you're only training and you you haven't really got uh, a date in mind of when you're going to play again. It's it's vital to keep the boys, you know, up and training hard and making sure that they're ready for for whenever that uh, resumption of the of the league is here. So yeah, it's important. It's always nice to to have a a good friendly. You know, a couple of times a season we come here. And it's it's uh, it's positive for us all the time. And it was a behind closed doors friendly. We can't mention the result anyway due to FAW regulations. But what about the performance today? Yeah, we had um, some some good moments, some things we need to work on. But like I've said to them, you know, when you when you put a team together um, with a mixture, because we've got illness and we've got injury and whatever else, it's always going to happen. But yeah, the, the lads' attitudes were were good, were spot on, and uh, we'll always get some of our friendlies, whether it's good or bad. So fortunate enough, we'll, we'll get the DVD straight away and we'll have a look at it and, and show them what they've been good at and what they, we need, we all need to work on. And especially as the second half wore on, you were able to make a number of changes. That gives you the opportunity to look at players in perhaps a different setting. Yeah, that's right. You know, we've Kestner's played his first four, four minutes today for a long time, so that's uh, that's beneficial. We've we've managed other players. Some have played half a game. Some have played uh, 20 minutes, whatever. So it's important we do that and we look at it. And, and again, Friday we'll do the same. Another friendly Friday and uh, more minutes for other players. And he signed for the club this week and it was your first chance to look at Adam Rosgrove yeah. on the pitch in a TNS shirt. Yeah, very nice. Obviously, uh, it'd be a long time to wait for him if he uh, had to wait for the league to start. And it's important, it was a training session the other day and then straight into a game today. You know, you got you got some minutes today, which, you know, it's, it's important. The players playing with him, how he sees us, um, the style of play. How we how we set up, how we you know defend in that possession and things. So yeah, it's nice. And um, the longer he will train, he will he will get used to it. And, uh, I'm sure he'll hit the ground running. And with no competitive games on the immediate horizon, are there more friendlies planned? Yeah, Friday 
so we would have played uh, Tuesday, Friday this week and if we can get another one in next week or the week after it'll keep us, like I've said, ticking over and this, you know, training is good, training is important, it's vital but there's nothing like playing a game and uh, seeing how good you are against other players.